what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today i want to show y'all how to update your router that's a good question right you you have all this awesome computer equipment right and you you know you update your your bias you update your graphics cards you know you make sure that all of your equipment is up to date but do you ever think about the router how, how does that get up to date you know that might need to be up to date because you know if that's slow then it'll probably slow everything else down right so if you guys are new to the channel welcome if you're not subscribed get subscribed guys we could always use good viewers like yourself we really could you can update your router by like three different methods I found to be the easiest way to update your router. The first one, the first one's actually quite easy. Now with my internet provider, Charter Spectrum, what they do is they actually offer a unique way with one of them. The first one, here we go, is you can take your physical router or your physical modem into your provider. Take it in there and swap it out for a newer one that's up to date. Because a lot of providers, the firmware is built into the modem and the router. And you can't actually access that and update it. So what you have to do is take it out, take it to them, and get new equipment that's fresher. Something that hasn't been raining for 24-7, seven days a week in your closet and is probably dead because there is such thing as heat degradation. And what that does is that slowly deteriorates the actual prof, the actual progress and the performance of the board. And you don't want that. So after a couple of years, trade it out. Get a new one. That's the first one. That's the first way that you can upgrade or update your router. Now, the second way that you can upgrade your router is really easy. You can type, go on the back side of the on the back side of your router and look at your IP address. I'll say 168.1.193.101 whatever now go to your internet and where you would type in www type in that number and hit enter that will take you to a menu and in that menu you can access it and find where it tells you to update your router or modem okay and then that brings us to our third way that you can update your router now a lot of providers what you can do is you can pick up the phone and call them and tell them, hey, I want to update my firmware because when we're talking about updating your router or your modem, that's really what we're meaning. You want to update the firmware or the programming in it so that way it's up to date and it reads everything correctly and all the good stuff's running and that's what you want to get that good performance, right? So yeah, just pick up the phone and call them directly and tell them that you would like for them to update the firmware. And they'll do it. And those are just, you know, one or two or three ways that you guys can do it. You can take in your equipment, trade it out for new stuff. Like for instance, mine. I'm with Charter Spectrum. There's actually no way that I can actually do a firmware update or update it. Um, from what the guy told me is all you really do is bring in your old equipment and we'll give you new equipment that is brand new and up to date Okay, that's that's fine And then the second way of doing it is how I told you which well, I'm gonna show you guys that real quick How we go in there and we look at the IP address on the back of the router We type it in if it says admin and then admin password usually the password is admin it's real simple. They're not trying to trick you on nothing there. Back side of the router, it will tell you what your IP address is. So my IP address is 193.178.1.1. And then there will be a password. Okay, there'll be a password and a username. And then there will be like a, a, a Wi-Fi password on the back. Well, the Wi-Fi password is to get onto the Wi-Fi is right here in the search 
that is where you guys will type in the IP address that I was speaking of. So let's go ahead and type in an IP address. I don't know if this will... This is just an example. Okay. Type in your main page, um, your basic setup. Once you type in your IP address, this is where it will take you into here. Um, if you wanted to change your password, you can, but if you do change that, then sometimes that can mess things up, so I wouldn't recommend messing around with your passwords or anything. But usually right here where it'll say log out is where it'll be like update your router, if you have that ability. But more than likely, it'll be in the basic setups tab. Um, as you can see, I have several different tabs, WAN, LAN, wireless, firewall, USB, and utilities. Um, if I was to click on some of that, it would show some, you know, a lot of personal information uh, about my network. And I don't really want to do that. So, but you guys get the basic idea. All right, that's this. That's mainly the second way you can do it is do it yourself, and then the third way you could do it is by calling them and asking them, hey, can you guys update my router or my modem for me? Or ask them to send a technician out to test it to see if your equipment is running slow or if there's any electrical or any type of degradation going on. Because if you bring a technician out, which is free, that shouldn't cost you anything, tell them that their equipment is messing up and you want someone to come out and take a look at it. And they will. That technician will test your line to see how, how fast your up speed and your down speed is. And he will tell you, nah, you don't need a new one, it's running great. Or they can even update it for you. So it's, it's not a scary world, but you know, there's a lot of help out there. And if you guys have any questions, you can definitely reach out to me. Make sure to smash a like in this video, guys. It helps me out everything.